And now we have our first and only experiment that we didn't take from YouTube. It demonstrates one of the basic properties of magnets. Lodestones are natural magnets that don't need to be charged with electricity to work. They are made up of a mineral called magnetite. What the heck? Seriously? Yeah, yes, yeah, seriously. It's actually called magnetite. Who comes up with this stuff? Man, I don't know. It's the last month of my senior year, and I barely had enough motivation to finish this PowerPoint. So that's the equation for natural magnets. I expect no one is looking at this by now, so enjoy that equation for a few more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So one thing that I don't know about is solenoids. Is an electric is it an electromagnet or something? E either of you want to talk about that? What are those? Wait, I know something about these. What? Yeah, I know about solenoids. But, but what? While Matt tries to sort himself out, I'll tell you about these special kinds of electromagnets. They are a coil of wires that have a current running through them. Okay, that makes sense, but what's it make it a special electromagnet? What a dumb question, Matt. Didn't you read the textbook? Ben, you didn't know the way basic mag magnets work. Shut up, Matt. Solenoids are special because they are hollow. This allows them to show something, one of the properties of magnets. The field around the magnet has one end that puts things in the south pole, and one end that shoots things out the north pole. Okay, if you say so, but if they're so special, why don't they have a practical purpose? Well, Matt, these magnets do have a special purpose. They are used in MRI machines to detect a variety of diseases and problems without cutting people. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not Hamza or Aiden, but I know that the re but that's, but I am the resident smart guy of the group. How is it that you know more about solenoids when I don't? Well, while you guys were talking to the camera, I was doing research and experimentation on the solenoids that we have in the back. Okay, that that is a lie. There was no way able, you were able to do all that within what two minutes? There's just no way. Oh, but I did. Take a look at the presentation that I recorded. difficulties. Hey guys, Ben here, and I wanted to talk to you to show you about some of the magnetic properties of solenoids. The way a magnet works in a solenoid is the same way as any other electromagnet, but there are a few things that you can use a solenoid to demonstrate. In a solenoid, a magnetic field runs through the ma magnet and around but because magnetism is a force, you can't see it, or can you? So here we have your standard solenoid. Hi, Mia Rispe, please come to the main office. Hi, Mia Rispe, please come to the main office. Wires around one direction, the band. And the way that the wire wraps tells us which way the current is flowing. The positive end is the south end, and the negative end is the north end. Let me move 
put the compasses into place so you can see how the magnetic field works before we turn on the electricity. So here we have two on the end and one on the side. Ready? You can see that the flow mass is now facing the direction of the north and south poles, associated with the solenoids north and south poles. And now what you're all thinking, but wait, Ben, what about the one on the side? It's facing in the opposite direction. What's going on? Well, a magnetic field runs around the magnet, creating a loop. From the north pole of the solenoid point on the compass at the same direction as the south pole. As a result, it faces in the opposite direction of the other compasses. But watch what happens when I move the magnet, the compass towards one of the ends. Since the force of the magnetic field is inversely proportional to the square of the distance, the object is from the field, moving the compass closer to one end causes one end to act more strongly upon it. Just a thought. Alright, I, I guess I'm okay with that. At least I'm still smarter than Matt Pinhill. Oh, by the way, Matt, while Ben's video was playing, I had enough time to film my own experiment and add it to the presentation. Oh, come on! Hi, I'm Matt. So, today I'm here to talk to you about one of the special properties of magnets, and one that is not very apparent by looking at them. So, magnets have a north and a south pole. Everyone knows that. But I think not everyone knows the magnetic fields have the direction that they run. You see, the magnetic field points away from the south pole and toward the north pole as a vector value. As a result, if a magnet were to be hollow, you could do some pretty crazy stuff with it. But I don't know what you're thinking, Matt. The magnets are boring and not all cool. But I don't know if what you're thinking when you chose for your topic. Well, you know what? You can shut up. You're wrong. Magnets are really cool. Right, Matt? Yes, magnets are indeed very cool and you should be very proud for choosing this topic, Matt. Thanks, Matt. You're a little proud. <laughs> okay. So here, we have your basic solar machine, a wire wrapped around the basic bunch of tent. And when you run a current through it, a magnetic field is created. As a result, a north and a south pole are made and the magnetic vector is created. Now that's, not, that's cool and all, but you can't see the field, right? Well, you, actually you can. So here, we have a natural iron magnet. You can tell because of the iron shimmy that are coming off of it. And now, this magnet has just two poles, just like the solenoid, when it's turned on. And if we have them facing in the same direction, a very interesting thing happens. Watch this. That's cool, right? Is that cool? So, because you made it through this presentation, we thought we should reward you with a few bloopers. Here we go. in the gag reel. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and Daryl, you can clap now. <laughs>